Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Act 8, Chapter 2, Quest Number 1. And I'm gonna show you the path that I consider to be the easiest path, okay? Now, I've already explored this at the time that I'm making this video, and most of the paths are pretty easy, okay? If you have the right counters. So make sure that you read the nodes, very, very carefully. All right, now, in this era of Hercules, you'll notice something. I have not brought Hercules along with me. He can wreck this path, but we're not gonna use Hercules in this video. So take a look here. These are the nodes that you're gonna deal with on the path that I consider the easiest. And why? Because of Power Shield. Power Shield, you can use pretty much anyone. Find someone that you have in your roster that has a very strong special, and you will destroy this path, okay? Um, but like I said, Hercules, he wrecks this path, but so do several other champions. And the main champion we're gonna be using here is Kitty Pride. all right? Now, I don't use Kitty Pride enough. I love her. And I remember, I think it was Act 6, when Ghost was just everything. And I had so much fun playing Ghost, but I didn't use her a lot. I took Ghost into the quest just so I could learn. Well, you're going to see here, I am not a pro Kitty player, but... We do okay. All right, so basically I wanna get my prowesses up to at least three, okay? That way I can start phasing like you see me doing here. Now, I brought along a couple of synergies. Tigra, essential. When I get 10 prowesses, I'm unblockable. Love it, that's what you see in here. And then if I hit the special two while I'm phased, and this works for the special one as well, I do more damage. Okay, look at what I did just now with one special two. And look at her health. Because while phased, she does not take any damage when she's awakened. Unawakened, you can still do it, but you're gonna take some damage. She reduces the damage, but she's gonna take some damage. Okay, boom. And that fight is done. Nice, smooth, and easy. Love, Kitty. You know, I don't even have to, because of the power shield, I don't have to like fire off special ones and then build up and then fire off the special two or anything like that. No need. Fire off like two special twos or a special two and a special one and you're probably gonna be just fine. Now, the other option would be Nick Fury. Nick Fury, I didn't bring him here, but I love Nick Fury. Nick Fury can bypass uh, Power Shield because Power Shield means that none of your basic attacks are going to do any damage. But his bleeds still work. That's not a basic attack. And there's other champions that, that have similar uh, mechanics where you're doing that extra damage and it's not really basic attack damage. So any of the extra damage works fine for Power Shield. Now, of course, against uh, Luke Cage here, Nick Fury wouldn't be the best because he can't do the bleed. Um, but just look at this. Just tearing him up. And one of the things that I love, I'm running the Recoil Masteries, but you don't have to. Um, Kitty does well with them, but she also does well without them. So feel free, if you have Kitty, to bring her in. But you will notice I also have Ghost. Ghost has a synergy with Kitty, makes Kitty even better, but it's also Ghost. So I brought Ghost along. Ghost can do this path as well, like crazy good, okay? And if you want to, you can boost up with a tech boost, tech power back boost, 
and you will tear this this path up tear it up so both kitty and ghost awesome for this path and like i said you could bring pretty much anybody hercules can do it um i would recommend folks that have strong special attacks because that'll just make the fights go faster and it's less time for you to mess up and, and get clipped or, or, or have something happen to you uh, in this fight. But the defenders on this path, as you can see so far, pretty straightforward and easy to fight. Okay, they're not difficult defenders. Um, other paths, read the nodes, you know, you have some disarm paths or anything, but this is just a walkthrough for the easiest path that I consider the easiest path, you may have uh, a path that you consider even easier because uh, a lot of these paths are pretty easy as long as you have the right counters. Um, so here we have Black Widow. Now, Black Widow, uh, Clairvoyant, she is definitely um, my favorite uh, mystic. She's not difficult to fight, but you have to remember that even if she doesn't hit you, she can put debuffs on you. So this particular fight, I could have done with a ghost as well. And it probably would have been over very, very quickly because if she hit me or missed me with the special um, one or did a heavy attack, I can convert all of those. See, I have all those um, uh, debuffs, doesn't matter doesn't matter look at this damage nasty all right so now i'm trying to bait out her special two and just gotta you know be careful look at look at uh kitty prize health very nice very very nice right also since i have her awakened uh i am gaining willpower healing when i phase every time i phase because that poison is going to stay on her for the entire fight. But every time she phases, she will be taking no damage from it. But it still triggers willpower. But there we go. Black Widow Clairvoyant is down. Kitty is a beast. And she probably will be my first mutant rank 5. Probably. I can't think of anybody uh, more worthy uh, personally. All right, now we've got uh, another pretty easy defender and I love me some Elsa. Um, she does not come with a bleed debuff on her. So you can use any champions that do not bleed her or use a mutant. Mutant champions can bleed her and you don't have to worry about that degen that she will put on you if she's bleeding and you are not a mutant. So even if Kitty were to apply a bleed, wouldn't matter. Um, but that's just to let you know, like um, Nick Fury, as I mentioned earlier, do not use Nick Fury against um, Elsa. It will be painful. So don't do that. Okay. Just look at this. Very easy. I recommend baiting out her special ones. Those are much easier to evade. I also noticed something. The uh, strikers, if you have your relics equipped, they are not, it doesn't seem like they're considered basic attacks. So I was noticing that I was doing damage with the strikers. So that's another uh little uh tidbit there now this fight i already knew was going to be painful now i could have gone in here with ghost she would have taken off the uh debuffs because the more debuffs you have on you the worst uh or the wor the more damage you're going to take from uh void so look at look at her health She's, she's taking a lot already, but every time I phase, at least I'm not taking that, but she is taking the damage. So I'm basically 
just trying to uh, phase as much as possible. And then hit this uh, special two. Look at that. Lovely damage. Okay. Now, she can do this fight, right? I just need to um, phase as much as possible. But I make a mistake here. I do that. That cost me this fight. Right at the end. I did not mean to push him to a special three. I meant to phase and fire off my special to finish him off. But I messed up. So we had to bring in a ghost who would have been perfect for this fight anyway. Um, but that was my fault. That was my fault. Bad boy, if you're watching this video, that was my fault. She was doing well all the way up until the very end there. Um, but I probably wouldn't recommend using her for that fight if you're running the recoil masteries. If you're not, perfect. She can do that fight, no problem. She almost did it just fine. Now, the easiest boss that I found, if you have Magneto, is Vision. But guess who also can do this fight? Pretty much anybody. Um, the, it'll be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to deal with some things like um, you're going to get a falter on you if you repeat your attacks. That tunnel vision is what makes this fight really, really annoying. Unless you happen to have a champion that, oh, I don't know, bypasses it like Magneto or Ghost. See, y'all thought I was gonna bring in Magneto, who does this fight pretty easily, okay? Um, I used Magneto for pretty much uh, every run after I did the other two bosses, I used Magneto. And if you're gonna use Magneto, just watch the power on Vision. Bait out special ones, do not go past a bar and like a half. Don't even get that high. When he gets to one bar, bait it out, okay? Um, but other than that, you can use pretty much anyone. Now you see what happened right there? I forgot about that tunnel vision. So I'm like, oh, okay. Now, again, I brought Magneto to handle this fight, but I wanted to have a little fun. And I haven't used Ghost in so long, you know? Um, the other thing that makes this fight a little bit annoying is the armor ups that they get. I forgot which uh, node that was, um, but they will start getting armor ups. The armor ups will go away eventually, but you need to play a certain way, which I was not doing. Um, I just wanted to use Ghost. Now you see here, I'm baiting out. Anytime he gets that synthesis, bait it out. Okay, now the thing with Ghost, it doesn't matter how low her health is. As long as she's alive, if you play her right, you can still do it. You shouldn't be taking any damage with Ghost. I say that as my health has gone down because I forgot about Tunnel Vision. And sometimes I mess up and I'll hit block or I'll block an attack or something like that or uh, try to parry. It happens, okay? So there we go like that. That's just me messing up. Now, because I do not have Hood on the team, I didn't bring Hood, I'm going to take damage every time I do a special attack because the recoil will get me every time. So... I was just coming in here and I wanted to see how good I could do or how well I, I could do with Ghost. All right, so here we got to bait that out. Okay, good. And we're getting down. Now look at this. He just moved out the way. I caught him with my toe, but that should have done a lot more damage. I only got, got him with one of the attacks. So I'm like, really? That's how they're gonna do me. But cool, you know? You know, it's not like I'm, I'm worried you know, but I would like to get the one shot with Ghost, okay? 
So we got to bait this out because if he doesn't fire it, the next synthesis, he's going to special three and he's going to wreck me. All right. And then there, I got the last two. But remember, I keep getting hit. Look at this. So now I got a falter on me. I'm like, what? Okay. Look at that. There's the miss. He didn't punish it. So we're good. All right. And you see, I'm starting to do, um, uh, I'm doing light attacks now. Medium, light. Medium, light. So that I don't get that falter again. Medium, light. Bam. And we finished it. Okay. So ghost definitely can do that boss. Magneto, of course, would be the option I would recommend if you have him. Even a five star will work, but anyone can do it. But you are going to have to deal with that tunnel vision, which is a pain. OK, so if you don't want to deal with tunnel vision, Magneto. Um, all right. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Hope this helps you guys out. Take care and you all have a blessed day.